using black models in the 60s. Richard Avedon was one of the greatest fashion photographers of all time. He was willing to sign All right, this is a new documentary called Danielle Luna, Supermodel, about the amazing life of the first African-American who appears on the cover of Vogue and Harper's Bazaar in Europe because America denied her the opportunity. Now, the movie launches globally tomorrow, and joining us from New York is Naila Jefferson, who is the director of this film. Naila, first of all, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming on. Uh, are you from Detroit as well? I'm not from Detroit. I have family in Detroit. My sister, Jelani Jefferson Exum, uh, is actually the dean of the Detroit Mercy Law School. Oh. So um, I've been to Detroit. Uh, my nieces and nephews are in Detroit, but I am from New Orleans. From New England. Orleans and in mm. New York. So congratulations on your documentary. And first Thank of you. all, how did you hear of this story? Well, um, I'd never heard of Danielle Luna. I grew up loving models and fashion and all of that. But in 2018, um, uh, the American Black Film Festival and Lightbox Entertainment uh, launched a diversity initiative for black filmmakers, for documentary filmmakers. And um, Jeff Friday, who is the CEO of, the, of ABFF, the American Black Film Festival, mm -hmm. reached out to me because this project had been um, pitched by two producers who had a fashion background. And he said, you know, we need a director. We don't want a first time director. And I think you're the person. Um, and so that's when I was introduced to Danielle Luna. And I was surprised that I'd never heard of her right. because like I said, I loved modeling. I love fashion. Um, but when I started to research her, I mean, she's just so fascinating. I thought yes. this is a, a story that we can really sink our teeth into. And the, the documentary is well done. It's amazing. Not only is she born in Detroit, she created Danielle Luna. Her name is Peggy Ann Freeman, created this persona of Danielle Luna and took it to the top of the modeling world. And when you were sitting across from Beverly Johnson, who people say is the first African-American model on the cover of Vogue, um, she, it got emotional. What was it like doing these interviews, talking about this woman who a lot of people have never heard of? Well, we were able to interview a lot of people who did know her, and I think for them, they never got the chance to tell Danielle goodbye because she, mm. for the last 10 years of her life, she was in Europe. Um, but for Beverly Johnson, who actually didn't know Danielle well at all, um, she actually kind of steps in as a surrogate for Danielle. It's a very mm -hmm. emotional moment. Yeah. I'm reading to her a transcript, a transcript about a, a behind-the-scenes conversation right, that right. Abaddon has um, with the editor-in-chief of Vogue then, and she's saying all the reasons why Danielle is not right. And in that moment, Beverly Johnson, I believe, is a surrogate for Danielle, but not only Danielle, every other black model who has had to face racism mm -hmm. in this industry. And she talks about it. Beverly said this is for all the ancestors. This is, it's just so much. Um, and Beverly, like Danielle, had reached the summit of right. modeling. I mean, you have to be on top of your game to get Vogue covered. Yes. So she understood the journey that Danielle uh, took on. And I know she really, in that moment, um, could, could feel what Danielle had experienced. So you got to come to Detroit to mm -hmm. the uh, screening of your film this past weekend. How was that? It was great. Um, it was supported by uh, a chapter of the Lynx there and um, Danielle's family got to come out. And that was what was really important to me um, because Danielle left, it was in New York and she was in London and Paris and Rome. Um, we just wanted her, that, her community that really birthed her to have a chance to, um, ce to celebrate her like they couldn't before. And so her family, who also would hear about her experiences but never got to be a part of it because they stayed in Detroit, mm -hmm. um, they were finally able to really bear witness to how big of a star Danielle was. Um, and so just it was, it was really fulfilling. What do you want people to know? Your movie will be on Max or HBO Max or Max tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to know about this film as they tune in? Well, I want them to know that Danielle was a pioneer. She's the first black woman on the cover of any mainstream fashion magazine. Harper's Bazaar was her first cover, and British Vogue was her second cover. But not only that, she's the woman who was a true creative and believed in just living outside of the box. And I think that's something that we can all be inspired by, um, and hopefully we are. We leave the film 
thinking that um, that it's okay to kind of be ourselves and to be free in whoever we are, and especially those creative people, um, to just go for it, to be inspired by the spirit of Luna and let her magic kind of motivate you to continue along your path. Naila, congratulations on a great documentary, and we appreciate your, your time.